In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a dialog box component in Vue.js. If you're new to Vue.js and want to learn how to build something practical in just 12 minutes, this video is for you. I will upload all the source code files on GitHub and so after watching this video, you'll be able to add this to your own project and then customize it however you like. This is basically a blank project that I just generated using the Vue CLI. So let's open up this app.view component. This is the main component that gets rendered when you open up the app in your browser. So let's get rid of anything that's unnecessary here. So I'm going to get rid of this hello world component and the image tag. And also I'm going to get rid of this ID. So we don't need that import statement and we don't need any component. Let's clean this up. Okay. So if I say hello world here, it just says hello world. Okay, so now the first thing that we need is the HTML and CSS that we will be working with. I don't want to start from a blank slate, so I'm going to copy some HTML and CSS that I wrote myself. So I'm going to open up this repository here and open up the disk folder and then go to CSS and compile CSS and then click this raw button. So I'm going to copy everything and then head back over here and then paste everything in this style tag. You can also put it inside the component that we're going to build, but let's just stick with global styles for now because I want to keep everything really, really simple. Okay. So now we have the CSS. What about the HTML? So let's grab that as well from index.html. And anything that's inside the body tag, I'm going to copy everything and then paste it right here instead of hello world. So if I come over here and say v show equals false, you can see that it goes away. And these, this is what we're starting with. So there's, there are basically two tags, one, one div that contains two buttons. And then there's a, the overlay and the dialog box basically what we need to do is create a dialog box component which we can render multiple times in our inside our main app component when we click this delete task button it should open up the first modal or first dialog box and when we click this second button that says delete user it should open up a separate dialog box to achieve that what we're going to do is copy everything related to the dialog box and then head on over to my components directory and create a new file here called dialog.view. And then I'm going to create a template tag here and I'm going to put everything inside here. So let me set the V show to true and then I can just import that bot in that dialog box like so components slash dialog. And then I need to specify that we're going to use the dialog component. And now we can use it like so. There you go. So it would be nice to have a property to basically show or hide the dialog box. So I'm going to create a custom property here called show and then simply set this to true and I'm going to add a colon here, which means we're going to be passing the true JavaScript expression instead of true the string. Okay. So let's go back to the dialog. What we need to do is create a script tag and then specify some props. So the first prop that we're going to use is show. And in here we can simply say we show show. Okay. So if it's true, Okay, so this needs to be a string. So we need to specify it like so because there's no show variable right at this point. But we're just saying that if if a if a custom attribute called show gets passed when the component is being rendered, I want to grab that as a property so that we can use it here. So let's save that and refresh the page. And then you can see that it's being shown so if we set this to false it'll hide itself so now the next thing would be to be able to pass title and description so if i set this to true 
you can see that there's there's the title and there's the description and so how can we make that dynamic so let's add another property here called title and we will just use the same title and then we, well, there is then I'm going to specify a description and we're going to use the same description right here let's save that okay so now we have the title and the description but now we need to pass that but now we need to use the, those instead of using static text so we say we text and then say title description okay then we need to specify that we are expecting title and description as props okay so now you can see that everything is dynamic so if we change this so to a user it changes the text inside the dialog box okay so the next thing that we need to do is add handlers for when we press this cancel button or when we press this delete button to do that let's just go ahead and say cancel and wanna specify a method here so we will just say cancel let's go ahead and define that so we will define methods cancel console log cancel but nothing will happen because we did pass the prop but we're not using it inside our components so let's go ahead and do that and we will say cancel and when someone clicks we will cancel okay so the problem is that we're trying to pass this cancel method down to our component essentially passing a string what we need to do is put a comma here that would basically mean okay take that this variable and then pass it down instead of just passing down the string cancel so we save that and then refresh the page and then press cancel you can see that it works but after console log and cancel we also want to hide the model so for that we need to be able to toggle this property here so for that we need a state variable so I'm going to create a data method so we can add a property here called show dialog and then set this to true and then simply use that property here so show dialog and then finally when we press cancel I want to set the show dialog to false so when we press cancel not only logs that to the console it also hides the model okay what should happen when someone clicks the confirm button so to do that let's go ahead and define another one called confirm and then simply pass a confirm method down and define it here and we will simply say confirm and then hide the model okay click of course we need to use that prop in our component so let's open up dialog again and then press that click and then say confirm so now we also need to specify that we're expecting this as a prop so confirm like so let's go ahead and refresh the page now if you press confirm it says confirm let me go down here oh so we need to set the show dialog to false instead of true okay let's go ahead and click that and it goes away so everything is working except for one thing what we need to do is instead of loading setting the show dialog to true initially i want to set that initially to false and then when we click this button i want to toggle that and set it to true so that the modal window shows up or the, or the dialog window shows up okay so to do that let's just go ahead and simply set this to false and 
And when someone clicks the first button that says delete task, which is this one, I want to simply set the show dialog to true. And that will make it work. And press cancel, it says cancel, and then hides the dialog window, and it just works. Okay, so now let's add the second one. So I want a different model when we click this delete user button. Let's go ahead and do that. But before we're doing that, let's put everything on its own line just so that it's neat and clean. Okay, there we go. So let's copy and paste and then the cancel. For this, we need a new state variable. So I'm going to say show dialog and then just append user and then cancel. We can make do with the same method. I'm going to show you how, but for the confirm, let's go ahead and say confirm user and delete a user. And are you sure you want to delete this user? Okay, so we, we need these two things. We need this variable and we need this confirm user method. So let's go ahead and define those. So show dialog user initially set to false. And then confirm user. And this will just simply say confirm user. And also I will set this dot show dialog user equals to true equal, equals to false okay so for the cancel one i will not only set this to false but also send this dot show dialog user to false which will basically mean just close all dialog boxes okay so if we click delete task it opens up this dialog box and when we press delete user okay nothing happens that's because if you go up here you can see we didn't actually add the click handler. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need to say when the user clicks this delete user button, I want to say show dialog user and set that equals to true. Okay, so that works. So now we have two users and everything works. So at this point, you can simply import this dialog component anywhere in your application and then have this kind of functionality where you define a cancel function, a confirm function, the title and description, and you have your dialog window. Also, if you wanna make this a little bit more dynamic, so you can use, uh, use it not only for deleting stuff, so right now it's hard coded to say yes, deleted, but you can obviously update the, that to update that to have a default value and then also to uh, and also the ability to override that default values by passing in more props if you want and you can make those props optional also